Hey there. Good evening. Welcome to uh, stop two of the Coronavirus 2020 tour. We're here tonight at um, Bullets and Bagels in Medicine Sock, Wyoming. Making my way slowly back to the East Coast. It's gotten a little warmer here, and that's um, great because I'm an East Coast boy, and uh, I am still having post-traumatic stress disorder from the winter of 2015. I found a reindeer in the alley with a pistol in his lap. He said the end is near. I know the pull was awful, but it ain't even lawful how much worse it is here. I found Subaru surrender to the snow's embraces. People doing shameful things in parking spaces. It ain't Armageddon, but that's where we're heading. I found a penguin in my kitchen with his head in the oven and his fin on the gas. He said Antarctica was taxing, but it's so much more relaxing than this white morass. I found neighborhoods of major cities glaciating, pedestrians who might as well be figure skating. It ain't Armageddon, but that's where we're heading. Well, there's a hundred words for snow. And every one of them's a curse Most of them I know But the other ones are worse I don't want to be a Grinch But if we get another inch Well, to the rubber room I go You can watch them slam the door And you can probably hear me roaring Those hundred words for snow I found a Yeti in a Starbucks with his head in his paws. He said, I just can't win. This vast accumulation is a worse abomination than I've ever been. I found hills piled higher than the Himalayas. Pleas for mercy from the regions. May is a maybe a rumor, but I got no sense of humor. For those hundred words for snow. And every one of them's a swear There are children in the room But I don't really care and It goes against my grain to be any less profane About this loathsome status quo And that's how I came to know Those hundred words for snow I've watched the world to stumble down the doorway from my hubble. I'll just huddle here and burn all my furniture for heat. And when the winter's ended, martial law suspended, I'll just wait another month or two and let the rinse repeat. I found Santa in the scuttle with the spade in his hand, and he was Stephen Cole. I know this might be shocking, but I'll need a bigger stocking for this hell hole. Well, there's a hundred words for snow, and every one of them's obscene. They all used to start with X, but now it's NC-17. You might say that you're a prude and that you aren't in the mood, but you just can't avoid the show. Curtains open, curtains closed, you'll be indecently exposed to those hundred words for snow. A hundred words for snow. Thank you. So, I'm really delighted to be here at um, Bullets and Bagels. Um, it's a cute little town, uh, Medicine Sock, um, a little touristy. Um, like to thank Gay behind the uh, coffee bar. Um, you know, don't know, ask him to make you a lottie. He gets a little testy, but he's a terrible shot, so it's okay. Um, my father passed away a couple years ago, and... Uh, before he um, died, a couple years before he died, he asked me to write him a song. 
He said, write me a song before I'm dead. Those were his exact words. And when I got to thinking about it, um, it occurred to me that there was this day back in 1979. My father was doing some exploratory drilling in the basement. He wanted to uh, remodel the bathroom in the first floor. and He wanted to know where the pipes went, and they went, well, right through his drill. And it was late Saturday, Sunday afternoon, 1978, and the Home Depot down the street wouldn't be open for the next 25 years. And when it came time for me to think about what to write about my father, the thought of him standing there with the drill, slightly damp, convinced that it wasn't worth calling anybody. That's, that's bonding for you. The sink was backing up. I didn't want to call the plumber to turn down the wet vac and shoved it down the drain. I managed to dodge the hairball at this lodge and it unflushed the toilet and I inhaled some methane and sucked up some sewage but it worked just the same Three parts of MacGyver One part of Magoo The world is my toolbox It's true I've managed to solve All the problems I've found With whatever's been lying around Windows stuck again. The butter didn't fix it. We came across some fireworks and a match to light the flame. Well, I was worried by the glass, but I was pretty sure we'd have to blast. We dislodged the caulking and singed all the curtains. I punctured an eardrum, but it worked just the same. Three parts of MacGyver. One part in the goo The world is my toolbox And it's true I've managed to solve All the problems I've found With whatever's been Lying around Paint the house with a hairbrush Pick your teeth with an airbrush Use a pen knife for outpatient surgery Launch in the door with your toenails and more with the gadgets that breathe in the silverware drawer. Your car is leaking oil, says my idiot mechanic. Timing belt and alternator. Pay me now or pay me later. But when the body gets a nick, a little spackle does the trick. To duct tape the seat belts and it starts with a paper clip and it grinds and it smokes and it's the butt of cruel jokes it used to be a hard top but it runs just the same three parts of MacGyver one part of Magoo the world is my toolbox it's true I've managed to solve all the problems I've found With whatever's been lying around Yes, I've managed to solve All the problems I've found With whatever's been lying Spilled milk, no sense crying Mop it up With whatever's been lying
I'm actually uh, kind of glad that um, that my dad uh, did not live to see the um, pandemic here because uh, I can't imagine watching him <laughs> putting on his mask. I know you guys don't go for masks out here in Wyoming. I mean, there are too few of you to infect each other, I suppose. But I do think that um, you folks deserve equal billing when it comes time to write the folk music. And uh, so a while back, I decided to write uh, a conservative folk song um, because, well, the times seem to call for it. As I mark the miles of this great land, I've heard you all complaining, and you can go pound sand. You might say you're not ungrateful, but I've already had my plate full of your wine and wave, and the crap we tolerate these days. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. A hammer in the evening, the hammering would sound like hail. A hammer till my point was made, the scars would never ever fade. If I had a hammer, you'd look like a nail. I'll be a rock, I'll be a pillar, a firm hand that the tiller, the iron glove, the velvet fist, the ruthless clear-eyed pragmatist, the scout for indecision, with the moral x-ray vision, the kale and spinach on your plate, Cincinnati's at the gate. It was a simpler time. And all our needs were met And the status quo Well, that's the only quo you get You take your liberal agenda And stamp it return to sender With postage due For all the crap we put you through If I had a hammer I'd hammer every morning I'd hammer every evening Schooler heads would not prevail I'd hammer on the choice you made The hammering would never fade If I had a hammer You'd look like a nail If you're the wheel the squeaking louder The spider in my chowder The tab that doesn't fit the slot The thespian who loves the plot The path of some resistance I'll be the bane of your existence A show of force to keep you pure Someday you'll thank me, that's for sure If I had a hammer I'd hammer every morning I'd hammer every evening The glamour heads would not prevail I'd hammer till the sirens wail i hammer till the hammers fail if I had a hammer, if I had a hammer, if I had a hammer, you'd look like a nail. So the next time people break out in Kumbaya around the campfire, don't tell them you don't have anything to sing. So, <clears throat> by now, you've probably figured out that I'm a songwriting genius. And, uh, but, the, um, 
The mantle of songwriting genius weighs heavily on my shoulders. And some days, like in The Prince and the Pauper, I just want to you know, mix with the little people. Write me a bad song, one with pointless contradictions. A bad song that lacks the strength of its convictions. A bad song, one that dribbles off the pen, and I never want to think about again. I want to write me some bad words, words both cloying and confusing. Bad words. The ones the literates are using Bad words Words that were never meant to rhyme That I singled out for torture one more time I tried to steer my song career Down a less demanding course But the lure of imperfection is unsatisfying stuff And even mediocrity ain't all that it's cracked up to be Perhaps have not descended far enough I want to write me a bad song One that drags in every verse A bad song In which the choruses are worse A bad song One that in the bridge is just a loss And you'd rather dynamite than drive across I want to write me some bad tunes Tunes that limp where they should soar And remind you of the way Your nostrils whistle when you snore Bad tune With licks that no one else will quote And I'd rather not admit to having wrote I Tried to steer my song career Down a less demanding course But the lure of imperfection is unsatisfying and even mediocrity ain't all that it's cracked up to be Perhaps have not descended far enough I want to write me a bad song In which I plagiarize and pine Where the worst parts aren't dignified And the best parts aren't mine A song that reassures its enemies Disappoints its friends And leaves an oily substance when it ends Yes, a bad song One both boring and blase Where the hero gets what's coming And the villain saves the day A song that points a bony finger And sings important things to say About the whales you need to rescue And the dogs you need to spay As you fidget in your seats And feel your lives ebbing away I want to write me a bad song I want to write me a bad song Thank you That song is on my most recent album uh, The Great Indoors uh, which is available for sale on that fine counter over there uh, right next to the bullets And this next uh, tune is actually just a, a happy tune on the album before that. Um, for those of you who are driving home on the long miles on the highway. dark to see But this old Chevy's been so good to me Picture hanging from the rear view Won't stop spinning till I reach you 75 in the pouring rain Engine whining with it's in pain Covered my ears and give it gas Curse the slow posts I can't pass 
I'm getting the feeling it's one of those nights I meet my friends and they're flashing lights Please, Mr. Policeman, take pity on me I'm hurtling toward my sweetheart But she's many miles away It's such a worthy mission I'm hoping you'll say That you'll spare me this ticket today I'm getting drowsy from the drone So I find some coffee and a payphone home You tell me slow down when I call But I'm a man and I love you So I got no sense at all Watching the needle cross the dash Hoping I don't get caught or crash More enchanted than afraid How this reckless game is played Getting the feeling it's one of those nights I'll meet my friends and they're flashing lights Please, Mr. Policeman, take pity on me I'm lurking toward my sweetheart But she's many miles away Worthy mission. I'm hoping you'll say that you'll spare me this ticket today. Perhaps I'll ask to be escorted. A wail of sirens to your door. Although I'm certain to be thwarted. Well, that the miles ain't made for dreaming. Don't know what the miles are for. Policeman, take pity on me I'm hurtling toward my sweetheart Which is many miles away It's such a worthy mission I'm hoping you'll say That you'll spare me this ticket Today Yes, you'll spare me this ticket Today Yes, you'll spare me this ticket Today Good old country tune. Uh, well, I've had a blast here tonight at the uh, in Medicine Sock, Bolds and Bagels. Uh, again, thanks, to folks behind the counter. Uh, keep those bullets coming. I'm going to leave you with a story about. From that liberal rag, New York Times. No, oh, it's a Washington Post. There was a man named, oh, I don't even remember his name anymore. But she wrote a story about crack babies, the one who the Pulitzer Prize. And, well, it turned out that it was wrong. And she, they took back the Pulitzer Prize along with the rest of her career. I got to thinking. But all those fictional characters that are created and cast aside when their use is done, and I thought they needed an anthem. So I wrote them one. How about born in the paper? A 14-year-old crack whore with a baby on my hip and another on the way. Latest symbol of suburban paranoia, urban decay. But they say she torched her reputation And I was a figment of her imagination And if you think it's hard to hear your counterfeit You don't know the half of it Do you believe Do you believe in in the briefing an ungrateful welfare queen cruising in her Cadillac with her ill-gotten gain stealing food from the mouths of the 
hard-working farmers in the American plain. But I was bad, bad information. Just a partisan misrepresentation. And if you think it's hard to hear your counterfeit, you don't know the half of it. Cigarettes won't kill you, marijuana will, and the way the stars control our destiny, and those aliens from Roswell, their adventures in gynecology. Well, it's noon on a Sunday. And Elvis and I have a brunch date with the second gunman from the Kennedy assassination. And afterwards, we're all going down to the ball game with a gentleman who discovered cold fusion. The sun is high. We're feeling clever. Because I've got a hunch we're going to live forever. And if you think a lie, don't know when to quit. Don't know the half of it Do you believe Do you believe in me Do you believe Do you believe in me Do you believe Do you believe in me? That story about the woman who put her baby in the microwave. What the hell is this world coming to? Thank you. Night Medicine Talk. Thanks for the bulls and bagels. See you next time.